Good morning and welcome to Saturday Morning Prayer. My name's Scott Dully and I'm the Parish Priest at St Peter's East Maitland. And I'm Sarah Dully, Parish Priest at St Mary's at Maitland and St Christopher's at Talara Rutherford. We're praying today on Wanarua Country and in this week of NADOC celebrations, we pay our respects to Elders past and present. Saturday Morning Prayer commences on page 419 of A Prayer Book for Australia. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 22, which commences on page 241 of the prayer book. Let's pray together. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We'll say the opening canticle together. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 22 commences on page 241 of the prayer book and we'll be saying verses 1 to 22 by alternate verses. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? My God, I cry to you by day, but you do not answer, and by night also I take no rest. But you continue holy, you that are the praise of Israel. In you our forebears trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried, and they were saved. They put their trust in you, and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm, and no man the scorn of all and despised by the people. Those that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out their lips at me and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delights in him. But you are he that took me out of the womb, that brought me to lie at peace on my mother's breast. On you have I been cast since my birth. You are my God, even from my mother's womb. O oh, go not from me, for trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help. Many oxen surround me. Fat bulls of bashing close me on, in on every side. They gape wide their mouths at me, like lions that roar and rend. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is like melting wax. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue clings to my gums. My hands and my feet are withered, and you lay me in the dust of death. For many dogs are come about me, and a band of evildoers hem me in. I can count all my bones, they stand staring and gazing upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. O oh Lord, do not stand far off. You are my helper. Hasten to my aid. Deliver my body from the sword, my life from the power of the dogs. O oh, save me from the lion's mouth and my afflicted soul from the horns of the wild oxen. Creator God, whose praise and power are proclaimed by the whole creation, 
Receive our morning prayers, we pray, and renew us in your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Tell me, you who desire to be subject to the law, will you not listen to the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave woman and the other by a free woman. One, the child of a slave, was born according to the flesh. The other, the child of the free woman, was born through the promise. Now this is an allegory. These women are two covenants. One woman, in fact, is Hagar from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. Now Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, for she is in slavery with her children. But the other woman corresponds to the Jerusalem above. She is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you childless one! You who bear no children, burst into song and shout! You who endure no birth pangs, for the children of the desolate women are more numerous than the children of the one who was married. Now you, my friends, are children of the promise like Isaac. But just as, it, as at that time, the child who was born according to the flesh persecuted the child who was born according to the spirit, so it is now also. But what does the scripture say? Drive out the slave and her child, for the child of the slave will not share the inheritance with the child of the free woman. So then, friends, we are children, not of the slave, but of the free woman. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. We'll say the canticle together. Christ, Christ is, is the, the image of the invisible God, God the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For it pleased God that in him all fullness should dwell, and through him all things be reconciled to himself. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you, that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, as we come to this new day, we hold before you all things which are to come. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the beauty and wonder of your creation that tells us of your goodness. Pray today for those who are affected by flooding, and other natural disasters. We pray for those whose lives and livelihoods have been affected, for those who have lost homes, for those who have lost work. We give thanks for those who care for us in our time of need, particularly our emergency service workers, the SES, police and paramedics. Lord, 
Give us the grace to live in harmony with all of your creation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for your holy church. We pray today for your church throughout the world. We commend to your merciful keeping all those who are leaders of our churches. We pray for the upcoming Lambeth Conference, which will take place later this month. We pray for the Archbishop of Canterbury, for all of those bishops and their spouses who will gather together. In our own diocese, we pray for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. We give thanks for all of the communities of faith across our diocese. We pray for our agencies and schools and the communities which grow in and around them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In this week of NADOC celebrations, we give thanks for our First Nations peoples and for the richness and depth of their culture. We pray that we may continue to work together with them for a true sense of reconciliation, to find new ways to join our custodianship with theirs which has been part of this land for such a great time. Within our own diocese, we pray for our First Peoples, particularly the Awabakal, Birupai, Barkin Young, Gay Weagle, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua Peoples. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for those who are sick and suffering at this time. Pray for those who are sick with COVID-19 and other cold infections. We give thanks for doctors and nurses and those who care for us when we are not well. Gracious God, we hold before you those who we know that are in need of your love and healing at this time. And we remember them now in the silence of our hearts. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for those who have gone before us for holy men and women of every time and place whose lives stand as an example and inspiration for us. And we pray that with them and all your saints, we too may be brought to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Finally, Father, we pray for ourselves for those who are near and dear to us. We dedicate ourselves to you this day and pray that we may know your blessing, that you may open our eyes and our hearts to see your blessings of grace that are all around us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord and heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day.